Howdy y'all. Welcome back to Serving Up Plumbing with me, David Butler. Today we're going to be talking about LP gas regulators and just a little bit about their installation. Now, one thing about it, LP gas regulators are not covered by the Texas State Board of Plumbing Examiners. They fall under the Railroad Commission and it's a separate license. You're supposed to file for one through the Texas Railroad Commission if you're going to be doing work with LP appliances or LP gas systems. And of course, with LP, I'm talking about propane, liquefied petroleum. Before we get into all this, though, please make sure and hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and let me know if you'd like to see something in the future. Let's talk about LP gas. Now, how do you know you have an LP gas system? Well, you can look at the appliance you're working on. You can see if there's a tank outside, but also, if you know your LP gas regulators, you're gonna know immediately that you got an LP gas system. You definitely wanna make sure of what you're working with. You don't wanna put natural gas water heaters on an LP gas system or vice versa, anything of that nature. They do not operate properly. Now we talked about the licensing a little bit. The Texas Railroad Commission licenses LP gas. If you're a master or a journeyman plumber, you can get an LP gas license just because you're a journeyman or a master. All you have to do is go online, fill out the paperwork, pay your fee, send it in, and you'll get your license back. Now these licenses all expire May 31st every year, so you have to renew it each year also. It is a good idea though to brush up on the code book for liquefied petroleum gas. There's an entire manual on it, and you should read that if you're gonna be doing it. Now, master plumbers and journeyman plumbers can only work on the gas systems at the house or in buildings and replace the appliances. They cannot transport it, they cannot work in the tanks, we cannot put in a tank, none of this stuff, unless we have additional licenses. As a journeyman and master plumber, we can go work on any propane system at a house on their appliances. So, we said that you can identify it by the regulators. Let's look at the regulators. You have two kinds of regulators on propane systems. You have a first stage regulator, which is at the tank, generally, and then you have a second stage regulator, which is usually where the gas goes in the house. Now remember, this is liquefied propane, not natural gas. These regulators also, if you'll notice on the pictures that I've got, the first stage regulators are red. They're smaller regulators usually, and these are regulating the pressure from the tank to the line in the yard. The tank pressure is usually somewhere between one and 200 PSI. They often have it on gallons as to how many gallons it has in it on the gauge that's empty or not, but the PSI is usually 100 to 200. It goes through the first stage regulator, goes into your yard line, and it's reduced down to usually 10 pounds. Sometimes it'll go to two, but most of them are 10 pounds. Then it's going to the house where your second stage regulator is. If you notice, the second stage regulators are brown. Now these regulators can be right angle regulators, they can be straight through regulators. They may not even be brown. Some of them are blue, I've seen green ones but usually the ones that we use for residential homes are gonna be a brown type regulator. That usually signifies LP gas. Also, it may have copper coming up out of the ground to it. That's very common for LP gas. Not so common for natural gas. Quick side note, copper is allowed for natural gas still, but you have to be careful how you install it. There are very specific reasons behind it due to the odorant in gas can corrode and make copper fail. So. If you see copper on the gas line, don't necessarily think for sure that it is LP gas. Make sure and identify your regulators. Identify on your appliances whether it's LP gas or whether it is natural gas. Now stop right here. If you have identified it's natural gas instead of LP gas, you can go to my video right here and see all about natural gas regulators. When we do tests on LP gas, we test it very similar to the way we do natural gas. That's why it's so easy for a journeyman and a master plumber to cross over. We do the same three pound tests and two pound tests if it's low pressure or medium pressure. We try more often not to put medium pressure in a house or two pounds in a house. Propane is a different animal to natural gas. It's heavier, it lays lower. Natural gas usually dissipates into the air. Propane's the opposite. It falls down lower and lays low. So we have to be very careful when we're testing and when we're doing work on it, when our gas leaks are found on it, that we make sure and take care of these problems. We also have to make sure and ventilate areas really well if they are in a low area so we can purge any possible existing gas that might be laying low in an area that we're working in. We use the same type of equipment to test for leaks. The leak testers we use are soap bubbles and 
the combustible gas detector. These will detect LP gas just as well as they'll detect natural gas. So we do it the same way when we get to that. That's another video we'll talk much more in depth on, but we still can use the same things to test both gas systems. The one thing is you do need to be able to recognize is those regulators. Remember, there's a first stage regulator that's at the tank, and there's your second stage regulator that's at the house. We need to make sure that we have the proper gas appliance, not natural on an LP and not LP on a natural. LP gas burns hotter. The orifices are different, a lot more detail you can go into on that, but that's why you have to be so careful about making sure the proper appliance is on the proper system. I hope this has been really helpful today. I want you to be extremely careful if you're working on LP gas and make sure you've got an LP gas license at the Railroad Commission. If you're a tradesman plumber and you want to get an LP gas license, you have to go take special courses and pass a test at the Railroad Commission. So, journeyman and masters, you can get your license just by having a journeyman or master's license. Tradesman, you have to do more. Remember, there's no acceptable gas leaks, natural or LP. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. I hope you liked this video, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Just tell your friends, the butler did it.